I'm Brownfield Commodity Market Reporter John Perkins with the Closing Market Minute for Monday, September 30th. Soybeans ended the session lower following the USDA's quarterly grain stocks report. The quarterly grain stocks for soybeans were a little bit below the pre-report guess, but well above a year ago due to generally slow export demand, which canceled out some of the decent domestic crush usage. As for corn, it was higher. Quarterly corn stocks were well above a year ago as well, but came in below their pre-report estimate by a pretty decent margin. Both corn and soybeans are going back to watching U.S. harvest activity and planning weather in South America. USDA's next round of supply, demand, and production estimates is out on October 11th. That is a week from this Friday, with CONAB's updated outlook for Brazil due out on the 15th. And we'd end the session higher. Quarterly wheat stocks and wheat production were both a little bit lower than expected, but again, still above a year ago. And the trade is now watching planning conditions in the southwestern U.S. plains, which are generally dry. Dry weather is also a concern in parts of the Black Sea region. Live cattle were up and feeders were down, watching the distribution of this week's direct cash cattle show list. And at least initially, that show list does seem to be mostly larger than last week with gains in Texas, Nebraska, and Colorado. Feeders did pick up some pressure from that higher move in corn. And hogs were mixed, mostly higher on spread trade and the higher midday move in pork. With the closing market minute for Monday, September 30th, I'm Brownfield Commodity Market Reporter John Perkins.